All right, getting close to sunset here in Parkville. And uh, came out about an hour ago. Water the lawn, check on the fish, get on a little food. These monsters down here, they're crushing it. Still trying to get them to eat some pellet food and yeah, limited luck. But what I really want to concentrate on tonight, I had a little issue where I'm losing too much water. 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 Out of my sump. I got a pretty good sized sump. Big old garbage can down here. And uh, here's the situation with adjusting the valves. You want to make sure that you got enough of a flow into these uh, bell siphons. You want to have enough flow for it to fill up quickly enough to when it does catch a siphon, like it is right now, that will catch that siphon and maintain that until the bed is all but the last couple inches of water and then it'll stop like this one has now if your water is on too much it'll cycle too often and that'll overflow this 40 gallon tank that's where I'm losing my water off the edge if it's too slow, it'll catch a siphon, but it won't fill up quickly enough to be able to drain all the way to where it'll stop. Which is that then your bed just uh, there's always has too much water. I'm gonna try to show you real quick in this over here. I didn't mean to make this a really long lesson. This is what it looks like when they're all put together. These are not running right now. And that's the thing. It, the adjustments completely change depending on if I had any of these valves open, it would be a whole other adjustment. So this is the basic rig. I still want to get this done. All right. So inside the guts of my bell siphon, I have holes drilled in at this lowest level. And the idea being, you got this cup with these notches in it. So ideally, with this seated down in the bottom, once the water fills up, comes through these holes, and gets up to the top of this pipe, you can see the difference in the height of the pipe is about, a, about an inch. It'll actually siphon, and it should drain all the way down to that lowest hole. All in one big bucket. Then it'll break the siphon and then that'll fill all the way back up to here again. So there's a difference in these these the small mud pans. They uh it's only about a four inch difference. And originally I wanted to get 12 inch pans and have about an eight inch difference in cycle, but honestly trying to find the ones that I was happy with. Uh, it's all experimental anyway. So I'm out here playing with the playing with the valves and I got it just about right. This one is a little slow. The other things you got to watch out for is you need to have fall but then it comes out. If you have just a straight down pipe, it'll never break the siphon. I learned that the hard way. Here's the problem that I have with this setup. I got a valve here that is doesn't even I keep this wide open anymore. All my adjustment comes out of a pump and it hits this T. And this is my adjustment. This either discharges it into the sump tank or it allows it up the pipe so depending on where this is adjusted 
determines how much water goes up to the top. Now, these valves, they're inexpensive. Three bucks, whatever it is. A valve like this, well, that's probably a $35 valve. But this one, you got a very fine adjustment. If I open this up, it's going to mess everything up. It'll send, this will send water right at these. But that'll completely make the ones up top dry. So, don't really want to do that. That was demonstration purposes only. But, honestly, you might see me put one of those $35 valves down here because it just gives me so much more control. We're getting close to the uh, full moon. I can feel it already. Lots of energy in the air. So as I was sitting out here watching these run, and you can see it should run, and then once it drains down to those lowest holes, it should burp, and the water should stop. Right now, that water is going from the top of that pipe on the inside all the way down to those holes on the bottom. Then it'll break the siphon and burp, and you can hear it. It actually burps. You hear them? Hear them burp? This one is just a little less water. Now that's the whole thing about this. This valve. You'll notice there's not a valve on the other pipe. This valve here takes the initial standpipe and equalizes between these two. If I didn't have this valve here, most of the water would run into this first planter, and this one would run really hard and burp all the time. So, I might have just a little more adjusting to do. But, it's all fine tuning. I've run this system, I built it last year, and, uh, it was more just to test everything. This wasn't meant to be the system. It is more decorative. That's why it's got decorative plants, flowers, stuff to bring the bees in. So, I'm still working on it. I'm trying to make sure I don't lose a bunch of water. Speaking of water, I did have the sprinkler out here. We watered the lawn. Still got all the stuff I haven't gotten planted yet. Zane mowed the grass today. So, uh, some things got moved around and all. But, honestly, it's hard enough just to go to work, everything else. And look, uh, I'm not even calling it work when I'm two and a half hours waiting for the truck to the service and oil change. And uh, I'm wiped out. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. My longest days are the ones where I drive. Sitting down, getting stuck in one spot, absolutely kills me. I'd rather run a jackhammer for two and a half hours than sit in a car dealership for two and a half hours. So, looks like I got just a little more adjusting to do. Cause this one isn't quite burping all the way. But I'm real close, real close to having this adjusted just right. That's what you really want to see. Alrighty, beautiful sunset. Just a gorgeous day. I mean, it was beautiful all day to die. I ran a machine for a little while. There's some joy in the joysticks. So, um, yeah. Happy evening. 
Tuesday after Memorial Day. I got a smile on my face. All right. Bye now.